Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the National Intel Report. I'm your host, John Statmiller, with you on this Tuesday, already the 28th of February. Another 10 days, we'll put another month down uh, into 2014. My, 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 are we having fun. By the way, before I get started with Gerald Salente today, remember me telling you that, you know, at one point in your life, it seems like your life has already been recorded and somebody slips in the VCR tape and hits the fast forward. Of course, you don't get the sound, but you get speeded up images. That seems to be how your life goes. Well, it was explained to me yesterday. You know, if you're 20 years old and you spend another year on the face of the planet, well, that's just, well, basically 19 years and one one more year. That's that's one twentieth of your life, okay? So at the age of 50, you know, what are we talking about here? One fiftieth of your life? It, it, it represents one fiftieth. So it seems that the fractions get smaller. I don't know, Gerald Salente. Buongiorno, by the way. Ah, buongiorno. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Speaking of Bongiorno, they just have a new uh, prime minister over there in Italy, uh, Renzi. And this is Italy's third new prime minister without elections. How's that for uh, a democracy, huh? I, I, I was I was half expecting you to say the great grandson of Mussolini. <laughs> yeah, well, this guy, this guy, as I look at him, he's an Italian Obama. Oh, boy. Yeah, he has uh, no track record, a self-promoter, uh, nothing but, uh, uh, you know, throws out a bunch of empty lines. Uh, matter of fact, when he goes gets a haircut, he sits under the sun lamps for a while to keep his tan going. Mm. His parents ran an advertising agency, He's just an advertised, an advertised uh, self-promoter. You know how I always say that these people that run for politics are the same people you couldn't stand in high school and college that wanted to be class president yeah. and head of the student council? Well, he was, plus he was a Boy Scout. Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's who they got. Well, Matter of fact, today, over 60,000 Italian business owners took to the streets of Rome. Every other day, an Italian businessman or woman is committing suicide and a thousand businesses virtually a week are closing down. And and here is the maddening thing about this. They are desperately hanging on to the fiat currency system and and I don't know what you call the uh the Italian political system over there, or their legislature or whatever it is. It, it, they seem to be struck with the same problem that we have here with our congress critters is they've not recognized the problem and taken steps to go around that. Well, again, you know, these are not political parties. They call them parties because that's what they're having, parties. And you're not invited. These are gangs. And people better get that in their minds and get it straight. They're murderers and thieves, no different than the bloods of the Crips. And I say that not being, you know, facetious or trying try to throw out, you know, a cheap line. I mean, how many millions of people do they have to kill before it adds up? How much more money do they have to steal before you admit that they're money, not admitting you, the general you, before people admit that they're murderers and thieves? You know, if, if I, you had me on your show, and this is my first time on, and I said to you, you know, John, I'm really good at killing people. <laughs> I'm serious. What would you think? What it, on, honestly, what would you what would go through your mind? Uh, the first thing that would go through my mind is that I have a madman on the other end of the line. Exactly. Yeah. And that's who you have in the White House, and you had one before. I mean, that's what he said. He said, "I'm really good at killing people," according to the book that was written about him, and it was never denied from the White House. And, and, and you have one psychopath. Matter of fact, this is very important. I want to throw some very, some very really important things that are going missing the media. As we were reporting in the Trends Journal and our Trends in the News broadcasts, when the Sochi Olympics began, we started seeing all the negative press coming out about Russia. Right? They got them stray dogs roaming out there that they're killing, and they have uh, other you know they're they're anti-gay and. Uh, 
What else? Oh, those toilets, the double toilets. Oh, we were going to have terrorist attacks as well. Toothpaste bomb. Yes. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Toothpaste bombs, what am I, six years old? <laughs> terrorist attacks. So on and on, the media, and, and I read all the stuff coming out of the toilet paper record. They call themselves the paper record, the New York Times. To me, they're the toilet paper. Of all of the coverage, the opening ceremonies, filled with, innuendo and propaganda about Russia. And I kept reporting, you watch, there's going to be a huge negative backlash against Russia. Sure enough, the news came out, Russia now ranks lowest among the American people since 1994. So they did a real job on it with the Sochi Olympics. Now, here's where I'm leading to. Last week, Hollande, the, the president of France, was over here, and... France has now already invaded two countries in less than a year, uh, Mali and Central Africa. They call it, of course, humanitarian missions like the United States does, which is white shoe boy language for war. Now, Obama, you know, really rolled out the red carpet for this little chicken hawk guy over there. And to me, they're planning action against Syria because... Both of them are really hot, both the United States and France, to go into Syria, particularly France, because they're on the, they're back on their colonial trip. It was the same with the Sudan, you know, French Sudan, which was part of Mali and Central Africa and other countries, as well as they had a piece of Syria, Algeria. So they're back on their trip, and the United States is on theirs. Now, here's the new news. The new news coming out is the latest UN report, and this is their language, not mine, referring to what's going on in North Korea as being equivalent to, quote, the Nazi regime. They're throwing out the word Nazi. In two weeks, the United States is going to have massive, quote, war games off the coast of North Korea with South Korea. South Korea has been, pro North Korea has been protesting these. They're saying, these aren't war games. These are plans to launch a massive attack against North Korea. And true or false makes no difference. All I'm, I'm reporting the news here and what it's leading up to. Just as the prostitutes, the propaganda mill for the White House, pushed out all this hatred against the Russians, they're now doing the same things, true or false, against North Korea. Because the fact is, you can't compare North Korea to Nazi Germany. I don't remember the North Koreans marching through Paris. I don't remember them jumping buzz bombs over, over London. I don't remember Auschwitz or Dachau with the North Koreans. This is no comparison at all. But yet they're doing it the same way they did it with Milosevic in Yugoslavia and the Butcher of Baghdad with Hussein. All right, let's take the break here, Gerald. Um, I, I think North Korea is pretty safe. I don't think there's anything that we need to steal from them. I don't think they have anything. And uh, we're not going to plant uh, McDonald's and the fiat banking system over there if we did invade. We'll be right back. Do you love America? Do you support the right to bear arms? Do you have an opinion on the current immigration issue? Do you believe in the dollar? You have a voice. You have an opinion. Let it be heard. Go to AmericanFreedomSurvey.com right now and make your voice count. Do you like your rights taken away for the so-called sake of public safety? Do you want to repeal Obamacare? Go to AmericanFreedomSurvey.com today and fight back. All you have to do is fill out a short survey and you're done. Simple, easy, fast. For your time, you get entered to win free gold and silver. That's right. Get gold and silver free by filling out this short survey that enters you to win. AmericanFreedomSurvey.com Go to AmericanFreedomSurvey.com today. That's AmericanFreedomSurvey.com there are many water filters to choose from, but there is only one system that is consistently customer rated five stars as the number one system for effective filtration of fluoride, radiation, drug residues, heavy metals, a wide range of radioisotopes, and more. 
Introducing the Pure Effect Ultra, the next generation water filter that also raises alkaline pH, improves antioxidant potential, and has advanced anti-radiation technology, all while using no electricity. Sold worldwide, it provides virtually instant clean water on demand. It is not made in China, and the shipping is free to all 50 states. Buy your Pure Effect Ultra today by visiting pureeffectfilters.com or call 888-891-4821. Again, that's 888-891-4821 or visit pureeffectfilters.com. Herbal Healer Spring Sale. 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes. COQ10 with Hawthorne, Glucosamine Chondroitin, Sea Cucumber, Colloidal Minerals, Super Fam and Super Male Plax, Colon Enhancer, our top selling liquid, Cow Mag Vitamin D, MSM Sulfur Capsules, and Elderberry Power Capsules. We also offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Free memberships and free online newsletters also available at HerbalHealer.com. Herbal Healer has been serving the natural medicine industry for 25 years. This is a company you can count on. Visit HerbalHealer.com today. HerbalHealer.com. That's HerbalHealer.com. Get ready for Real Talk Radio. You're listening to the National Intel Report with your host, John Statmiller. Gerald Salente, been doing Trends Journal for, gosh, decades. (laughs) Uh, 34th year of the forecasting the trends, folks. By the way, I wanted to interject something, uh, Gerald, that the people in Libya now, after... After we got rid of that evil guy, Muammar Gaddafi, the general consensus on the streets over there with the citizenry is um, we wish the Gaddafi days were back. Well, of course. uh, Libya was the most affluent, the richest country in North Africa. And again, it was another war based on lies. Excuse me, it wasn't a war, according to the Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, President Obama, it was a, uh, in the White House, it was a time-limited, scope-limited kinetic action. And according to the uh, three witches of Macbeth, Hillary Clinton, Samantha Powers, and Susan Rice, it was a humanitarian mission. And by the way, that whole human rights uh, organization, they're a front, too. You know, they, they've been pushing war. They applauded that as well. They're a George Soros-funded organization that's always promoting human rights in the name of invading another country. And they're doing it again now in Ukraine. And we saw the tapes that came out of uh, Newland, the assistant secretary of state, and the guy Pyatt, the ambassador. And you listen to these tapes of them plotting, actually, how to overthrow the uh, Ukraine government. And... Um, it's, it's right there for everyone to listen to. And when you listen to this guy, Pyatt, the ambassador, it's like listening to a little boy, little boy talk, you know. And then you listen to the language of the, of the ambassador, uh, Newland. And, uh, you know, she told uh, the, uh, the EU to F you. And if any of us said that, then we'd be vulgar. Mm-hmm. Hey, but not her, man. Yeah, that's okay. They're one of them. So they could commit all the atrocities they want. Oh, by the way, you know, I heard the gun control, you know, the the ad about about guns. And I have to tell you, I'm I'm for gun control. And let's start with the military. After we have gun control with them, after we have gun control with the militarized police, then start talking to me about gun control. Who made up this stuff that only they have the guns? Only they could slaughter who they want, any time they want, and for any reason. I'll tell you exactly where that came from. Document 7277, Complete and General Disarmament in a Peaceful World. That's exactly where that came yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is if anybody wants to talk about gun control, 
Let's start with the Pentagon and work our way down. <laughs> now, Gerald, uh, the biggie on the radar is they just gave themselves uh, permission. Uh, John Bonier, I, you want to talk about... You mean Boner. Yeah, Boner. Uh, the guy that thinks it's a good idea to have his hair done and sit under sun lamps as well, I guess. Uh, maybe they're interchangeable with the new Italian uh, president. I'm not sure, but... You know, the game that's being played, he threw up his hands, said there's nothing to do on budget issues, or more uh, in particular, their um, uh, debt ceiling. They had to raise it. And I'm looking at this, and I'm going, really? You know, you, your comment, what brought that to mind is your comment, well, let's get rid of all the guns the military has. Well, that'd save a lot in bullets, I guess. Uh, you know, defunding the military and make them third world status we could do that. But, you know, as I look at this, Gerald, they are unwilling and unable, and they will not. There is nothing that this government is going to cut. They just gave themselves permission over the next year to raise the debt ceiling as many times as they want for any amount of money that they want. And that's it. It's it. Again, we have a criminal operation that's running the government, and nobody wants to call it what it is. A gang of 535. And the only people they look out for is themselves. And I worked in government. These clowns get bored off very cheaply, by the way. It doesn't take a lot to buy off a politician. And, and it's just, you know, they buy them off. They don't call it buy, you know, buying out. They call it campaign contributions, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, the whole system, I'm in favor of direct democracy. They just had an election in, in Switzerland. And the, the vote was whether or not to let the immigration rolls stay the same or to cut drastically back. And they voted to cut drastically back. The people voted, not the politicians. If I would ask anybody in the United States who's the president of Switzerland, nobody would ever know the name because the president doesn't count. The people count. If we could bank online, we could vote online. You want to go to war, let the people vote. We're the ones that fight and die and they take our money. Let us vote. You want to bail out, government? You want to bail out banks? Let the people vote. But, but you want then, immigration? Let the people vote. But, and then people say, well, you'd have mob rule. Guess what? The mob is ruling now. <laughs> they call the Republicans and the Democrats. The Genoveses and the Gambinos. You hey, got it. And, and look, uh, Gerald, uh, direct democracy, that, that, has been, that has been suggested before. And what that would do is cut out the people that are trying to, trying to protect their phony baloney jobs harumph, and that being the Congress critters. You know, we all get that. But if they would have maintained their status in office under the sworn oath that they took, then this would not be a problem. We but, would... jo but, John, that, you know, that's if. Dogs don't make cats. These are criminal. These are sick people. Yeah, but... These are sociopaths and psychopaths. Yeah, I understand. Gerald, yes, I'm, not, I'm not arguing that point no, with I'm you. I'm saying that there's no if. To me, if you belong to a, a political party... You should automatically be, be disqualified because your your because your interests are with that party and not with the people that you represent. To me, disband both parties. If you belong to a party, you should not be able to run for government. Well, look, I, 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 we're running out of time here, but I, I just wanted to bring this up. Uh, uh, Levine, Mark Levine, um, supposedly conservative uh, Jewish fellow out of New York. He's been trying desperately to uh, have amendments to the Constitution done. He wants to do a con con as well, a, const a constitutional convention. And God help us, uh, if if you get uh, three quarters of those guys behind the closed doors, no. literally, you could come out with a brand new dictatorship, and the Constitution will be gone. My my point about this is simply this. That this is the problem that we're having right now. The politicians are not following the law of the land, and that's the Constitution. They are using the controlled media to convince people out there and program them. So, you know, the idea of 51% of the people voting for whatever, I would not want to do that grand experiment because look what just elected twice. Oh, bummer. Again, we had no choice. Look who ran against them. Look what we're gonna look yeah. what we're look what we're gonna get in in 2014. You know, to me, again, I want nothing to do with the political gangs. 
You're not going to get in. Nobody's going to get in there and run their party. Yeah. It's 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 the it's the two-headed one-party system, as you mentioned. You know the Genovese's or the Gambinos, or the Bananos, or you know <laughs> Goldberg Iceberg. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gerald, uh, we're running out of time here. By the way, what we're going to do next time we have you on, we're going we're to switch you because I actually start at six, uh, 6 after the hour, and then i got a three-minute break at the quarter hour mark. So that whacks you out about nine minutes right there. So what we're going to do, I talked to Zeke, uh, we're going to park you on the bottom of the hour of the first hour so we can do the second half. I'm only interrupted by one commercial break then. And uh, that'd be great. And it'll give us more time uninterrupted to talk. Okay, uh, Trends Journal here. Uh, Mr. Salente, any parting shot? we got about well, a minute. Well, yeah, the Trends Journal. I mean, I, yeah, I guess you got a copy of it. It's 52 pages, full uh, color. I'm reading. I'm yeah, reading. No, yeah, no advertisements. Uh, and it's history before it happens. Everything we wrote in that Trends Journal from the cover story on is going on today. I love the voice of experience. Been doing it for 34 years. This was a short visit. Next time. Gerald, we'll see you uh, in about a month, I guess. Okay. Thanks a lot for having me. All the best. Thank you, Gerald. Bye-bye.